Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, whoo, take a pin in whatever you're doing, because look at this beast we have. This is from Physicians Formula, and I am shook to the core, okay? I saw this on the internet, and I was like, wow, that looks like a lot. And then it got here, and it is literally a gigantic brick Oh, makeup and I'm just I don't know there's something about it that speaks to me it reminds me of like where makeup meets a caboodle meets a poly pocket because look at this hold on we open it up and then we just go and we just keep going oh like look at all this makeup guys this is insane and I don't know what it is about this that really just trips my trigger but I'm so excited to be playing around with this right now obviously we have eyeshadows then you have a blush palette a little lip palette here there's a little fold up mirror just in case you're traveling or you know doing your makeup on the fly and then we have a little highlight palette and a bronzer palette like all of that in one place one kit bam for $39.99. Again, got it off of the Physicians Formula website. And there, I don't know, guys. I just, I can't even explain to you the level of need that I had for this. Like, I had a totally different video plan, and I was like, mm mm. I know what I'm doing now. So now to go ahead and get everything started, I think we're going to dive in first to swatches and just give you a brief overview of the palette. I'll read from their website and then we're obviously going to dive into application. So like I already mentioned, it is $39.99. It is a limited edition of palette and it says under product benefits that you can escape to the tropical beaches of Brazil and butter up on the go with the ultimate Maru Maru Butter Collection. This limited edition collector set features all 58 shades of your favorite Maru Maru Butter must-haves in this travel friendly set. This Beachy Paradise collection is infused with a powerful blend of several different butters that I cannot pronounce from the lush nutrient rich Amazon and packed with essential fatty acids and pro vitamins that soften condition and moisturize skin and lips. It is of course paraben free, gluten free and cruelty free. Now that we've seen all of the swatches I do want to dive in a little bit to my first impressions just on that aspect of things because I did notice a couple of things I wanted to mention. Everything felt pretty consistent. There were a couple of things that stood out. Um, one of them being the matte shades. There were a couple that felt a little bit dry, a little bit chalky when I applied them, and I did have to build up those layers in swatch. There were also a couple of like really chunky, almost aggressively glittery shades right here and here and here. But for me, I don't know, the texture of those ones just really missed the mark, and because of that, I will be playing with them in today's eye look in some way or another just to get a feel for how they apply. Because again, if they apply nicely and they work on the lids, that's all I care about, but the texture really did throw me off. Now moving into the highlight region, guys, these are basically like the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow or like the Super Cheek Highlight things that are kind of squishy. I don't know how well you can see it, but like see how there's a dent in that pan right there? That's because these are actually like putty consistency. This obviously doesn't affect them so much as a highlight. Like if you look at them, girl, they still have so much blinding power. Look at that. Hello, yes. Um, but for me, what that does mean is that in application, I will have to apply them differently. I cannot manipulate this type of a formula on my face the same way um, that I can with like a regular highlight. Those ones I can go in with a brush and really just get in there and have a nice time and really blend it into the skin. And with these ones, I can't do that just because they do lean more on a cream side I have to go in with my finger and really press and pack them in and just work with them a little differently again it's not necessarily bad but just something to note if you are like me and texture up in that area of your face is an issue back to these little lip things I don't know that I necessarily love that aspect of the palette just because I do love the little twist up ones so much more um, personally I would rather instead of there be a palette here I would have rather there been maybe like three or four individuals that came with the kit like maybe we could just put them in there have a spot for them to pop in I personally would have really enjoyed that. So now going in and actually beginning the application process with this palette, as you can tell, I already have on my foundation, concealer, powder, and brows. And from here, we're going to start off with bronzer and kind of skip through this palette a little bit. So let me find a bronzer brush. Hello. That's right, my little dual fiber brush that everybody always wants me to wash. Absolutely not, girl. I like it with character. I like it dirty. I like it dirty. <laughs> and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to dive into this shade right here. I feel like the ones around it are very, very light. And when I swatched them, I didn't care for the undertone so I'm basically gonna dive my brush into here and if it happens to tap into the ones around it I'm okay with that so as far as application goes this is applying so nicely this is definitely their standard butter bronzer formula that everybody knows and loves and I am like here for it minus whatever I did right here hello Paige get your life together Who are we kidding Paige we know we can work with this bronzer like guys the butter bronzer from physicians formula it is iconic for a reason it works so nicely it is so blendable and just so Ugh, it's like so even on the skin you got the Dorito the Cheeto and the cupcake not anymore cuz we bronzed her to filth. Ooh. all right so now it's time to blush up these little cheeky 
cookies and guys this freaking blush palette like Oh, my my actual heart and soul are just weeping right now. I love so many of the colors in here. I think what I want to do is play around with <laughs> as many as humanly possible and put them all on my face because I love them so much. So what I think I'm going to dive into first here with my Morphe little Y5 is this shade right here. This is like the perfect amount of like, girl, I'm trying to get that glow on glow. It is so so freaking pretty <gasps> like look at that sheen like it's a little bit but it's yeah you know, we could like tone it down a little bit but like do we want to probably not because we're goddesses and goddesses don't tone down nothing honey no so i'm gonna take and apply that to both sides just a little bit here and then I think we will go in with another couple blushes over top of it because I'm just one of those people. Now I will say if you're going in with these and you're wanting to play around with the shimmery blushes, definitely be mindful because they pack one hell of a wallet. So I think what I'm going to do to counter that just a little bit is I'm going to go in with this big blush down here. This is a matte blush. I'm going to pop that right over top and I'm going in very, very light handed with it. And what that'll do is meld the colors together but also subdue that shine just a tiny, tiny bit. Then I'm just going to pop the leftover over up here on the forehead a little oh my god that is such a beautiful combination holy cow I feel like you could really combine any of these blushes to make a perfect like tailored look for whatever you're going for depending on your eyes or your outfit and then also just because I can't help myself I'm going to grab the tiniest and I mean the tiniest amount of this shade right here because it's literally speaking to me and I'm going to apply it and yes it is shimmery and yes, shimmery things can emphasize your texture. And girl, life's just too short. I can't care. It's so pretty. And now I'm just going to go in real quick with my JH01 and buff everything into the skin. Make sure all the blushes are blended because I need to have my blushes blended. It's just that simple. Now from here, I'm going to skip my highlight and I'm going to dive right into eyeshadow. I like to save highlight for last because I'm zazzy like that. All right, so obviously I went ahead. I moved you guys in, but let's just take a little gander. Do you see how bad my eyes are watering? It is on both sides and I don't even know how this happened. Like I started putting my makeup on, things were good, and then all of a sudden water works out of both of my corners of my eyes. And obviously I'm going to work around it just like I always do, but you know, per usual, there's always going to be those people that are like girl do you see that of course I do girl. I feel it hello I got water on my face but I'm gonna go ahead real quick here and I'm going to throw a little bit of my covergirl concealer on my lids and then we're gonna get started with some eyeshadow now with that on and applied the first thing I'm gonna do is go in here with this purple shade this light one right here and I'm going to take that on my Sigma E38 my diffuse crease brush and I'm actually going to put that through the entire crease now something that is pretty true through and through for physicians formula whether you are working with the blushes, the bronzers, these eyeshadows, what have you, they do produce quite a bit of kick in pan. So just something to be mindful of um, while you're working with them. They will kind of kick all over. And again, that applies to the face products as well. Maybe while you're working with them or when you're finished, before you open it up and expose the lips, you might want to blow off your kit a little bit um, just so that way none of those particles get down on the levels below and then get into your lip products. The shade is performing about as well as I thought it would. It's a really nice, light, kind of dusty purple. And it actually is building up beautifully and then from there with the same brush we're gonna go into this purple right here which is just the deeper purple right next door I'm going to take and pop that on the inner and outer V and then I'm just going to lightly bridge the two together I don't really want to build up too much depth in the crease Oh, that's a beautiful color. Okay, all right. Not mad at that. Now, I just went ahead and I wiped off that same E38 because y'all know I love using one brush for everything. And I'm going to dive in to this nice light bone color shade right here. And I'm actually just going to use that to fluff through the upper crease area right up toward the brow bone. And that's just going to lightly diffuse both of those purples and make sure that everything is nicely blended. As you all know how I feel, I have to have a nice blended brow bone area or I can't function. Ooh, that blends really, really nicely. Now from here, I'm just going to grab a little bit of my NYX glitter glue. And I am going to pop that in the center of my lid and really just span it all the way from side to side, leaving a little bit of the purple. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is one of the colors that when I swatched into it, it had a little bit more of that um, chunky gritty kind of texture. And I just wanna see how it applies to the lid. So I'm just gonna take it and tap it right there. Oh girl, she's pretty. I'm not having any issues with fallout or anything. It does have a little bit more so of a dry texture though than I was anticipating. Um, and the payoff is okay. It's not amazing. I mean, it has a nice shine quality to it, but for the level of like grit that it has, I really did expect it to be a little bit more impactful. That could also be though that I'm pairing it with a darker purple. So what I'm going to do is also grab this shade right here. Now this is one of the softer shimmers. Pop that right in the center 
and then take it toward the brow bone just to kind of open up that whole area. And then with a clean finger, I'm just lightly blending everything together. I'm also gonna grab this little shimmery purple that's on the bottom side of the palette. And I'm just going to use that to kind of lightly transition between, oh, that's, oh my God, that's absolutely perfect, okay. I'm going to use that to transition. I love that I literally didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> Shiny things do things to me. But uh, I'm going to use that to lightly transition because it is a nicer, brighter kind of poppy purple. So it works really nicely going toward that brighter shade in the center. Wow, that gradient for me is like everything I've ever wanted. And then some, look at that. Oh my gosh, just absolute perfection. Mwah. Now on the lower lash line, I'm going to grab some of this orange shade right here. Y'all know I love orange and purple. I have said it so many times. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the same Sigma E38 because I love that brush. I'm just going to run that right along the bottom. And then on the bottom side of that, I'm going to take that bone color shade from before. And I'm going to use that just to lightly diffuse out the underside of the orange. Oh, I love, 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 love that. And then next up for the inner corner, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to layer the shade that I popped in last in the dead center of the eye, this nice bright shade. And then I'm also going to grab a little bit of this one right here. This was another of those kind of chunky glitter moments. And I'm going to take the two together. Ooh, look at that. Yes, please. And I'm going to pop that on the inner portion of my eye. So I'm going down with the smooth one first just to layer in a little color. And then I'm gonna go in with this little chunk-tastic devil here. Oh yes, honey. I'm gonna pop that right down and then bring it down just a little bit under that tear duct on the lower lash line right there. Ooh, just to open up the eye of Freckle because I think it could use it. All right guys, real quick, I'm gonna run off of camera, finish up this eye and uh, get things situated for the rest of the face. So hang tight, don't go anywhere. I'll get very upset. I'll be very sad, is that what you want? No. So hang tight. All right, beautiful people, I am back. This is how far we have gotten. Both of the eyes obviously are complete. Added some mascara, and now it's time for some highlight. And I am really excited because there is a combination in here that I think is going to be so adorable with this eye look. And I'm actually going to take and mix these two shades right here. There's this really pretty pink shade and then this very nice kind of white shade. And I think by mixing the two, I'm gonna end up with this nice kind of frosty pink moment. And I'm just going to tap it. Oh yes, that's quite exactly what I was looking for. Oh my God, <gasps> so blinding, so pretty. Oh yes, okay, matches my eye look perfectly. And as long as I go in and really press this into the skin, it just looks absolutely stunning, okay. Then just on top of the cheekbone right there, I'm going to take just the white shade and tap a little bit of that in there just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I'll just take my finger here and kind of run this down and really blend it in with the rest of the face because I like to have a nice melded highlight. All right, guys, so now it's time to move on to lips, and I'm not even going to try playing around, honey. I have had this color picked out since I opened this palette. I want this color right here. Oh, my God, this is just a hot second. Guys, that is 100% the wrong shade of purple, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off, but look at how pretty it is. I love this color so much. Ooh, okay, this one is pretty close. I like a nice neutral lip when I do a more bold eye and this color is kind of perfect okay I took the one in the upper corner right here um, it's definitely the most neutral out of all of them but I feel like that's why it complements everything nicely because with an eye like this I definitely don't need anything to be like overbearing hello we have a lot happening and all right beautiful people this is how everything came together what do you guys think I have to say I'm really impressed personally I love the way the eye look the face everything melds so nicely together and going into this palette there were a couple of things that I was very apprehensive about in that sense like are these going to meld nicely are the blushes gonna match my bronze or so on and so forth and I just think everything with this palette really really works so much more than I thought it would going in so I think to go through and round out my final thoughts, I'm going to break them down by group as far as what worked, what didn't, and that kind of thing. So bronzer and blush, I love the way they both applied. It's their traditional bronzer formula, so it went on, buffed into the skin. My skin looks absolutely fantastic, so I don't have any issues there. Um, the blush, same thing. I think that that worked nicely. I love that they included a combination for the blushes as far as matte and glowy, so you can kind of design your own thing. For the highlights, my only issue is that there isn't a lighter gold tone. I would rather have there be a lighter gold 
gold than that iridescent color. That, I mean, this one right here, the iridescent one, I would never reach for that in a thousand years. Like, not even on my eyes would I reach for that. It's just not my cup of tea. So instead of having that color for me personally, I would have rather there been a lighter version of this color or maybe one of these through here. Um, but that being said, I like that they did include so many different kind of glowy highlight options. I feel like in that realm, it was much more skin tone inclusive than with the bronzer. So I kind of wish that aspect of it would have matched up a little bit better. The eyeshadows, I do think they performed nicely and I'm actually happy with how they worked as opposed to how I thought they would. The chunky ones for me, they didn't apply the best. I don't think that they were the most impactful, but they were really nice. They did exactly what they should have done. The eye look came out absolutely beautiful. Um, the mattes blended really, really nicely and that purple shade, the darker one that I put on the inner and the outer, that one was one of the ones that uh, on the matte side was a little bit drier in consistency and it worked really nicely going on to the lids. And of course, the lip, which I did just apply, I don't have any issues with that either. I feel like it's that same formula that we get in the little twist up container. Um, for me, it's just not my preferred way of applying. Again, I would have rather there been um, actual twist ups in there. You could have put them in your pocket and they're a little bit more travel friendly. But as far as the consistency, I don't have an issue, the color, that sort of thing. I think it works really nicely. Now, as far as the palette overall, obviously I can't tell you if you need it. Like it depends on what's in your collection. Um, I do think that there's a lot of pros to this though. Number one, I love the design of this. I think it's super fun, very reminiscent of like those early kind of poly pocket days, but like mixed with your caboodle where you would store all of your makeup back in like what, 1995 to early circa 2000s. Um, I think that aspect of it is really fun and the compact fullness of it I also think is really cute. Um, I also like that you get to play around with a lot of their different formulas and get to see which ones you like, which ones you don't. You know, do you, do you like the kick and pan? Are you okay with it? Do you like the butteriness of their bronzer? Do you like the glowiness of the blush? That sort of thing. Um, and in that sense, I think it's a really great value as well because if you think about just going to the store and purchasing, you know, one bronzer, one blush, and one of these, you'd already be at like 30 bucks versus buying this entire kit for 40 and getting to play around with all of it at once. If you want to travel with this, yes, it is good and compact. It is beefy. Like she's a sturdy mama. She's not going anywhere. Um, but it is a little bit on the heavy and a little bit on the cumbersome side. So something to keep in mind if you're wanting to travel with it. Um, it'll just take up a little more room. It'll have a little bit of weight to it. Um, the other thing, and I just wanted to know more so on like a personal side, if I'm the only one that thinks this, but does anybody else look at this and feel like it should have been released at the beginning of summer? Like when I look at this entire palette, I'm like, it's glowy, it's got blush, it's got bronzer, it has all of these things. The lip is very like nice and light and airy and I just love this lip for summer. And I don't know if it's just me, but that's my only thing is I'm like, why is this released right now? Kind of like ColourPop with that new tinted moisturizer. I'm thinking to myself, like, shouldn't that have been released like four or five-ish months ago? Like, you guys can tell me down below if you think the same way, but that's like my only kind of thought that I keep coming back to is like, girl, why now? Like, I'm not mad at it, but like, why now? But all right, you guys, that is it. Those are all of my thoughts and opinions. Sound off down below. What do you think? Were you curious? Did you see it on trend mode? Were you like, hey, I didn't even know that existed? Girl, what is that big old thing? I want to hear from you down below. I also would love it if you would check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They are both linked in the description. I have been super active over on Instagram with my IGTVs, little one minute makeup application videos. They're super fun. So be sure to check me out there if you haven't done so. And above all else, you guys, if you have not done so yet, please do not forget you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel as I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It would mean a great deal to me if you guys would subscribe and come back day after day. My videos go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. You guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, for anybody that I know is going to ask, no, I can't link this, uh, this bomber jacket for you. I got it from Boohoo like a thousand years ago. It sucks, it's cute, but I can't link it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't go anywhere, it's gonna get good. That is just like a perfect freaking color, yes. Oh, I didn't even know that was in the way. <laughs> Bye, problem solved. Wow, okay. Whoosh, superstar. Please, I need my blush brush, please. I don't even know what is happening in my life right now. There's just so many people trying to talk to me and all I'm trying to do is play with this palette. Y'all better recognize, okay? If I don't play with this palette, I'm gonna cry.